Uh, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the 70s, the kind of when, when I grew up, um, it was much different. You know, there was still like the last of that hippie kind of culture um, alive. Cell phones and, and, and internet and all that stuff. So kind of a yeah, more organic. Uh, I was just going to say that organic. It was v very earthy. I can tell the time that I pissed him off because that's the only because we didn't fight we didn't have a, a lot of issues with like most brothers have or mm -hmm. I didn't pick on him too much I can think of two things that I did to him and they're not that big a deal um, one was getting him to French kiss this gr older girl when he was Fuck. really really I, young. I remember that at the park yeah no it wasn't at the park no. it, was, it was out in front of the house and uh, but I remember I, I don't know what I did to him but he threw my rat out the window Oh, fuck. I had a pet rat, Mickey, <laughs> and he threw him out the window. Yeah. And uh, and two days later, the rat showed up on the back porch. He was a very smart rat, <laughs> and uh, he was like the family pet. I mean, he didn't have a cage; he just w wandered around the house. And he was very cool. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't. And so, but he threw him out the window. I don't know what I made, did to piss him off, but but other than that, you know, I mean, we never really had any what you call issues you know yeah I guess on my end I can remember at some point you went on tour and left me your apartment oh, yeah. I was gonna kill you yeah that. and so anyway I had a party over there I a lot here. of friends I was here out. I was in Japan. Oh, you were in Japan? Yeah. First trip to Japan, I, and I loaned him my apartment. Yeah, and so he had this little apartment off the Sunset <laughs> Boulevard Strip okay. and uh, I had you know a bunch of friends over hanging out. At the time there was already some little kind of like signatures on the walls with yeah. maybe some stupid you know, saying or something. So when all my friends saw that, they just saw it as a, a free for all. And so, you know, I think we pulled out spray cans and oh, started yeah. catching tags. Like, so by the time he got back to this apartment, he was it fucking was, pissed. It was totaled. Yeah. It was just spray painted. And was yeah, but not weird. even like art, just fucking tags and just, you know, just like 16 something, oh, wow. 17. Yeah, somewhere. I should have known better. <laughs> I mean, you know, all things considered, I was like, oh, yeah, cool, you can take care of the apartment. I didn't think anything like that, you know. Maybe he'd bang some girls or something. I did that. <laughs> of course, right. Uh, by the time I ended up moving out of the apartment, we had to jump out the windows. Uh -huh. We could never let the, the uh, superintendent see that apartment. We just got out of there. I let him eat the fucking security deposit. Threw everything out the window and left. That chick, Angeline, <laughs> uh, lived in the building. Yeah. She's the like famous, the most famous nobody yeah, in the, LA, the precursor to Paris Hilton. Yeah. She used to have like billboard campaigns. Oh, yeah. Her on the oh. pink Corvette was like always her trademark or whatever. She's still around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she updates her Corvette. Yeah, every year they every, drop a, a new model. Though, right? Every few years she gets a new model. Yeah. Yeah. She's crazy. <laughs>